What's not to love about trekking? The connection to nature, time to reflect, the challenge and sense of adventure upon reaching the summit. Few things beat being out on the trail, and Nepal is a trekker's paradise. There is, of course, the famous trek of Annapurna Trail and Everest Base Camp. But on the recommendation of local trekkers, we gambled on a lesser known trail to find out if we could satisfy our fascination with the Himalayas. In this film, we risk monsoon season and take on Mardi Himal, a five day trek deep into the mountains to climb the highest summit we've ever reached. Eventually, I'll make it to the top. But this isn't just a film about trekking. It's a story about new friends on old mountains. And we discover that it's not just the summit <laughs> that makes a hike special. It's the people you share the journey with. <laughs> Subscribe to join us. Before setting off, our guide, who was also our Airbnb host, had us for breakfast. A local favourite, Dalbat. What was it? The power... Oh, Dalbat. Power 24 hour. <laughs> <laughs> we bundled into the car for the one hour drive from Pokhara to the foot of the trail, stopping on the way to stock up with very important snacks. Do we have enough? Yeah. No, we need loads. We arrive to the beginning of the trek, not quite sure what to expect. But wait a second. Before we get hiking, we want to introduce you to the team that made the whole trip what it was. The dream team! First up, there is Balram, aka Bullram, our porter and guide's nephew, the hero that carried our camera bag. This is Bickel, the spring chicken, our guide's son, a guide in training and general good banter. Spring chicken, let the, let the way! Let the way. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, our legendary guide himself, Mad Half, who soon came to be known as Half Mad for a myriad of reasons. Life is very lovely. Life is very important. Lovely life. The world is very beautiful. No, you. How, how do you describe yourself as a yeah, person? Who are you? Oh, I'm a human being. I'm a human being. Yeah. I want to love everybody. Mm, I don't say I expect love from everybody, but I want to love everybody. I like dancing as well, yeah. He also happens to be a lawyer. And so the trek began, and the calm of being in the mountains soon settled into our core. The only problem is the weather. Hopefully it'll clear up, but, you know, we've got five days, so I'm sure we'll get some sun over some of that. Yeah, I like this kind of weather also. It's beautiful, cool, huh? It is beautiful. You, know, sun, you can imagine if it was sunny, it would have been so hot, humidity. True. It's cool, nice running, drizzling, very nice. Yeah. Very true. There are a lot of positives to take from this weather. To our surprise, we passed through small mountain villages filled with restaurants and hotels, almost empty at this time of year. Never After a few hours, we stopped for lunch. <laughs> so this food is so nice and so well made and it's all just grown just around the corner here. Just this is mountain potatoes. These are all vegetables that are grown here and it just tastes Perfect. Love it. Healthy and wholesome. 30 minutes away from lunch was our first night's rest. Day one is done. It's been nice. We've eased into it. And this is our bed for the night. So now we've literally got about five hours left of the day until it starts becoming evening. And we're just going to chill out and read and just relax. And it's just so nice to be so disconnected. I mean, there is Wi Fi here, to be fair, <laughs> but we're not going to use it. Um, well, we maybe a little bit, but mainly we're going to read. I'm going to use a little bit of Wi-Fi to share on our stories. If you're not following us already on Instagram, follow us. Here is our handle. And uh, But then I'm going to read. I've got books down, uh, downloaded, audiobooks. I've got podcasts. I've got the work, so... So we're going to relax and we're going to educate ourselves and just do the things that we always say we want to make time for, but somehow never do. Because we end up working. Because we end up working, but here we are. 
Oh, cute. And so we took it slow. We read, ate veggie Momo, and got an early night. Good night. Good night. The next morning, we rose to the kitchen alive and preparing breakfast, which, after coffee, we enjoyed as we overlooked the mountains. And the locals came to see us off. Looks, it looks very happy people. Yeah, yeah awesome. the happiest people in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Legend, thank you. And we were ready for... Day two! And we heard Madhav's catchphrase for the first time. <laughs> okay, let's make a day. Let's make a uh, day. Let's make a, make a day. Yeah, please, let's go. <laughs> okay, day two. And we're walking up through the jungle. Through the misty jungle we went, enjoying the comfortable silence, taking time to soak in the fresh, clean air, enjoying the solitude together. Rain was threatening and soon enough, the heavens opened and rain fell all around us. It's like following a bunch of fruit, orange and lemons. But eventually, we made it to camp too, deep within the mountains. Beautiful little spot, look at this. Let's take off our wet things outside because we're in the dry here. Nice. Here we gonna are. get cozy, gonna get dry. Perfect little spot. Gonna eat. <laughs> look at all the beds. <laughs> <laughs> what is great? This is life. What is life? Mm. You're frying your socks. After lunch, the rain subsided. Clouds crawled over the trees up the side of the mountain. The camp was calm and everyone had the satisfying feeling of tired legs, a full stomach and no to-do list. We read, rested and sang. We woke up early. Our third day of trekking was going to cover more elevation. We'd be climbing 1,000 meters to high camp. So day three, and this is when it starts to get real, apparently. <laughs> Let's make a day. Let's make a day. The sun was out and the air was crisp, but we knew we were still racing with the rain. So one thing to be aware of, if you're gonna do this hike, well, probably a lot of hikes in this area, to be honest, is leeches. They are everywhere. And not only are they on the floor, so you've got to look out for your ankles, but when it rains, they fall from the trees because they get knocked off by the rain. So you've got to watch your neck, your head, all over your jackets. So yeah, be vigilant. They, I think they're pretty harmless, but they're just very disgusting. And it just is a bit like, ugh. We met some buffalo on the trail. They were friendly, but they were so big we couldn't help but be a bit nervous. Wait, wait, wait. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, Bulo, I is scared. Let's just move along. Yeah. Oh, that was scary. This is quite two scary because they're so big. He said, you know, two seconds, he looked into our eyes and he was like, yeah. yeah. We pushed on, up the mountain, getting ever closer to the clouds and snow only taking breaks for some dance demonstrations by Mataf. <laughs> and this one, this one, this one, this one. Wow, this is so stretchy. <laughs> 
The rain inevitably set in for the final hour of our hike, and we turned ourselves back into oranges and lemons. And of course with the rain come very muddy trails like this one. But thankfully, there's lots of steps etched into the mountain on the way up, which also means that you can cover some meters. <sighs> Is that the top? We reach. Woohoo! So to do list, we gotta dry our ponchos, we gotta get ourselves out of our hiking clothes into our cozy clothes. We're gonna get some food, we're gonna get some tea, and we're gonna read and relax. And that's the brilliant thing about having the tea houses is that you have the rest of the day to reset and relax. Yeah, and what time is it now? It's like... I'll tell you, it's 20 to 12. Oh my God. We have the rest of the day to relax. Amazing. So one thing we've noticed about the menu is that it's the same at every place that we have stayed, but it just gets progressively more and more expensive the higher up the mountain you go, which makes sense because it's harder to get the food there. Uh, but it is a really good menu actually there's some great things there's like pasta there's potato -y things there's curries there's porridge there's muesli there's coffee there's sandwiches there's pizza so it's really good and the desserts we keep having these apple and banana pies which are beautiful do you want the vegetable spaghetti too uh, yes please two of the vegetable spaghettis please amazing thank you wow. Wow. Oh, it looks like it's got sun dried tomatoes in it too Oh, so good. We ate, read, and ate some more. Another tea house, another apple pie. The importance of having a poncho absolutely cannot be overstated, really. They are, they have been an absolute lifeline and without them we'd have just been drenched and it would have just been a horrible experience when the rain comes because every day we are hiking and we are racing with the rain. So make sure you get yourself one of these. Now we go to bed because tomorrow we need to wake up early morning to see the magnificent and beautiful uh, view and tomorrow we are going to the way of heaven Ooh. we are going to the utopia heaven serendipity paradise whatever you say yeah, yeah lovely heaven, place heaven, heaven. What time, yeah what time? Uh, tomorrow we wake up exactly four o'clock everyone ready yeah you look very ready Unfortunately, Matt have wasn't feeling very well the following morning. Yeah, I will be waiting for you. And you and you want to tell everyone that if they like the video, they need to give it a thumbs up. <laughs> okay. Ready? Yes. Kale, the dog, slept outside our door all night and followed us up the mountain. The climb begins. It's actually the busiest we've seen the trail the whole time. There's quite a few people around. So when you get about 20 minutes into the hike, you can either go up to the danger way <laughs> or you can go right to the easy way. Walking in the dim light of the mountains before dawn, you feel the world around you more than you can see it. Ah. Look at that! Woo! <sighs> the cool air gets into your body. The size of the mountains dwarf you, giving a unique tranquility, imagining yourself as a tiny ant on this immense landscape. The sun came up from behind the mountain and the texture of the landscape changed. The sky a bright blue and the snow a clean white. Made it. We made it to the top and Kale was waiting for us. Kale beat everyone to it, didn't you? The peak of the mountain was a stark contrast from the rest of the landscape. The lush green trees were replaced by a crisp carpet of snow and the mountains stood proud hiding the horizon. Because it's off season, it could so easily be clouded over, it could be rainy and you know, I'm sure it will be in like five minutes or so because it changes so quickly up here in the mountains. We just come a little bit further 
and we've got this whole place to ourselves because even though it's off season, it's still quite busy. But apparently during peak season, there are just queues and queues of people everywhere. So yeah, definitely worth noting. To Another top tip. Another top tip. We pushed on a little further and we had the perfect view of the Mardi Himal peak. So we're at 4,000 meters, which is the highest we have ever been. Yeah. <laughs> we did it! Thanks for these guys that got us there. If it yes. wasn't for him, you wouldn't have had any drone shots of this. He carried the drone all the way up. <laughs> my pleasure, my pleasure. And, and spring chicken led the, led the way. Led the way. Buck, 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 buck. <laughs> <laughs> And now we head down, we're going to have some coffee, we brought some apples, we got some nuts and we also have some Oreos, so we're going to have party! Yay! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> we marked the occasion with a cup of coffee from the small tea hut at the top, but the adventure was far from over. team is back together the five of us <laughs> Yay! yeah so let's make it a day let's, let's make, make it a day, day. <laughs> we have already made a day he has to make a day <laughs> <laughs> let's make a day let's make a day <laughs> Oh, the no, Jeep journey go. home.